Good evening, Blackpool. Thank you for coming. Uh, there's always a slight tension in the room until I address the cardigan. Um, it's this one, isn't it? I'm wearing it. I know I'm wearing it. Uh, it didn't jump on me. Uh, I don't wear this for the gig, just to calm you down. I, uh, I just wear this to come out in. I call this the establisher. Uh, just lets the men in the room know that I'm the alpha. <laughs> Only trouble. Sometimes men think they might have a little heckle at these gigs and they see that and they think, holy shit. That guy's got no dignity. Uh, I can't wear it for the gig, it gets too hot. Uh, obviously, temperature-wise for me, and let's be honest, sexually for some of you. Uh, so the first thing that happens is I take it off, which is about as sexy as it sounds. Uh, thank you. Uh, got another one underneath for the gig, obviously. <laughs> Didn't want you thinking I wasn't going to wear one. Now, if I hang that there, I'm going to warp the collar. Um, <laughs> I don't suppose anyone's brought a travel coat hanger with them, I think. <laughs> I have, of course. <laughs> well, let's hang it that way. Turn it round so you get the benefit. <laughs> Had to wait for a man to die to get that cardigan, so might as well get my money's worth. By which I mean I bought it from a charity shop. I didn't see him wearing it and just follow him until he gave up. Well, I'll tell you what, Blackpool, if you're going to applaud a coat hanger, you just might have a good evening tonight. That, that hopefully, is not the highlight of the show. Uh, the show's called The Old Man, for, for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm a cardigan-wearing gentleman. Uh, I wear them all year as well, in case you're wondering. I'm not one of these Christmas dicks. <laughs> Put one on for a Weatherspoon's pub crawl and think you've got a personality all of a sudden. <laughs> I wear mine all year round. There's a number of other things that make me an old man. Uh, I play Countdown for a living. Don't quite know how I'm getting away with that. Uh, I always know where the nearest toilet is. I secretly prefer to use my own, which obviously makes touring quite difficult. <laughs> be away for weeks sometimes, saving it up. <laughs> Inside, obviously, I don't shit in envelopes and keep them in the car door. <laughs> Chronological, if you're interested. You've got to have a system when you file an imaginary shit in an imaginary car door. Uh, I also have a general loathing for uh, society. I'm worried at an age where I'm baffled by sort of new things. I went to get my hair cut recently, which I do as rarely as possible. I don't like being touched. Um, and as yet, the technology isn't there for it to be done online. So, <laughs> got to go to a hairdresser, haven't you? I tend to sit like that in the chair, you know, like you do at the dentist. Just because I find if you sit like that with your arms out, their balls keep touching. <laughs> I know they're not doing it on purpose, so you can't overreact, can you? But you've got to do something, otherwise, you know, they might think you like it. So, you've got to set a boundary, haven't you? Otherwise, when they're doing the back, you're getting teabagged at the front, cos you haven't... <laughs> ..told them where the line is. So, I just tuck in like that. I don't want to be... I don't even want to be talked to, to be honest, but they insist on it. So, um, I tend to go to places where they lack the linguistic or social skills to talk to me very much. Uh, ideally, both. Uh, angry Eastern European men, that's my dream haircut. <laughs> If I walk in and they call me boss man, I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> don't want a cup of tea, I don't want to be your friend, I just want to open the door and hear, boss man, sit. All right, good. <laughs> this is going to be a quick, efficient, slightly violent haircut, but... <laughs> it turns out that's how I like it. <laughs> you know, when they grab your head a little bit too tight and then they dig the clippers in at the back and you think, oh, I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> <sighs> Should have cut my own hair bringing this filth in here. <laughs> You want gel? Spit on me! <laughs> you can't get too into it. The, the, the kind of haircut I'm talking about, £8, keep the 10. That's the kind of haircut I'm talking about. I used to call them £8, just the one back, but they don't like that. Uh, so, and the only problem with that kind of haircut is the haircut itself, which is very often appalling. Uh, I had some absolute stinkers, I really have. I had one, it was all uneven on the top. He went to do the back there with the clippers. Now, I'll take some of the blame for this. I've got quite a small head, but quite a hunched back. And I think the perspective got to him. I think he thought I was further away than I was. <laughs> he sort of lunged in with the clippers to cover the gap and there wasn't one. He hit me right up there. <laughs> Took a big chunk out of my head, but he didn't apologise, he just carried on. <laughs> with such confidence, I thought, I must have asked him to do that. <laughs> I'm sure I'd remember sitting down and saying, well, I'd just like a tidy up, please, but I do like to look bald in a hat. <laughs> if you could fix that for me right at the end. Absolute stinker it was, and even then I, I didn't complain because it was too late, but um, I got, oh, my wife was very upset. She said, you're going to have to stop doing this, John, it's upsetting me. Uh, I think she meant the hair, it could have been the marriage, but I moved on quick. 
Uh, she goes quite often to have her hair cut. She pays more than I think is uh, normal for a haircut. They bring her a drink. She knows the name of the guy. She goes on holiday with him, that sort of stuff. <laughs> She's got a fortnight sometimes. She comes back and her hair looks the same, but I don't say anything because she seems so happy. Anyway, she said to me, look, next time you go, let me book you into somewhere better. So she booked me into a trendier, more modern establishment. I walked in, there was a Harley Davidson inexplicably parked in the middle of the room. I thought, you sat on that to have your hair cut. You don't, straight off. <laughs> sat in my chair, the guy come out with the gown they put round you, and he sort of swooshed it, all flamboyant like a bullfighter. I thought, that's cost me a fiver already, that, isn't it? <laughs> that's six months at gown toss in college, that, isn't it? He, just, he didn't cut my hair, never saw him again. That's his job. <laughs> Full-time gown tosser in this establishment. Presumably just back in his cupboard waiting for the next one. <laughs> oh, I love that bit. Off he goes. The gown settled down around me, and this is where the trouble starts. It wasn't an ordinary sort of barber's gown. It was mostly that sort of black plasticky stuff they use. There was a circle of it there, a perfect circle cut out of the gown, and replaced with a sort of clear plastic sheeting, like a little porthole <laughs> through to my cock. Um, <laughs> I prefer not to finish that sentence. It's usually a giggle of anticipation, but not here, apparently. What's down there, John? <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> my cock is down there. Um, and my balls, I keep them together. <laughs> Although, less and less as I get older, to be honest. Um, no, my, my, my thing's down there, and it really sort of... You see a window, you can't help but look through it, can you? It really drew focus to an area I try and keep private, you know. Further than that, I said, I don't even like him. You know, we've never got on. Um, <laughs> the use I get out of him, I really resent having to carry him everywhere. <laughs> it happens so rarely, and yet he's there all fucking year dangling around. <laughs> Be a bit like carrying your Christmas decorations in a backpack all year. <laughs> You're ready if Christmas breaks out in June, but it rarely does. <laughs> so it'd be more useful to me if I could take it off and just put it away, you know. My wife could say to me, I think we'll have sex tonight. I said, fantastic, I'll get my cock out. <laughs> Where did I put it? Garage or loft? <laughs>